hello guys and welcome to my channel my name is abimbola so if this is your first time on my channel or you've been here before but have never subscribed can i please ask you to just click on the red subscribe button now and then click on the bell icon to turn your notification on so you are notified whenever i drop a new video if you've already subscribed it's good to see you again thank you guys And the proposal was to merge all the churches in North America together for them to drop their, their tax exempt numbers and we come under one tax identity. Many of us rejected the idea and one of the reasons for the rejection of the idea is that if any church in Idaho or any part of America does something wrong and they want to sue them, they will sue everybody together. One of the other things that we said was that if you want to get a loan to do a building or anything, it has to be central, which means everything that we used to enjoy as an entity, we have to go to the central before it can be approved. Either we want to apply for immigration, you know, for any of the pastors or instrumentalists or people that work. It's impossible. You have to go once. Now, two or three years ago, there was a proposal. The issue was brought up again. They laid it to rest then, and we thought it was over. Then this common purpose agreement, 38-page agreement, came forward on the same issue. And part of the things that was written on it was all the churches which will hand over the buildings and all the assets, but not the liabilities. And we said, who does that? You know, why would I hand over $10 million of assets and $4 million liability will not belong to me? Is it my father's business? You know? And um, they said, we, so... Everybody, people said no. Later on, they came up with a three-page um, agreement to sign. We showed this agreement to our lawyers, and one of the things the lawyer said is that slavery ended a long time ago. Because some of the things that were there, it's, it's unbelievable that it's a Christian that drew up this. So when I saw the three-page letter, or agreement, I said to myself, why, how did 38 pages become 3 pages? So what happened to the rest of the 35 pages? At that time, trust had been lost. I went to God in prayer. And for me, it was a no-go for me. I cannot sign the document and lose my soul. Because I felt, if I sign that thing, it is out of conscience and I can't so I refuse to sign then a year ago they wrote us a letter saying if you don't sign you are no longer part of the redeemed Christian church of God I said that's okay and they said we'll give you one year we spoke back and forth but nothing happened so I knew that they were eventually sending us away as a church so in February this year, they wrote another letter saying, now that you have not signed for one year, you are no longer part of our CCG. So in April this year, I resigned, and just as Baltimore resigned from the organization RCCG North America and RCCG all over the world. So from today, this in fact is our first Sunday as an independent church, not under... I want you to know that this was not a decision that I take lightly. Mm -hmm. I have served in this church for 30 years. Mm -hmm. mm. 30 years that cannot be taken back. Mm. Because if you add 30 years to my age, oh my God, 
I'll be 30, I'll be 91. Mm. I sat for 30 years with nothing from any organization to say you have done well. Oh my gosh. That's what but I know oh that God is a rewarder. He's a rewarder. He's a rewarder. We are for God you. is a rewarder. Pastor. Hey. We came from Rema to Global, so I understand. Woo! Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's be seated. Hallelujah. I know there will be many people out there hmm. who probably you are disappointed by my decision. Mm, I'm not. I apologize. Mm. But we are not going back. Mm -mm. Never Amen. going back. I Ooh. know after this decision, it's Never. not likely that I will be demonized mm. on social media. Mm. It's okay. Mm. The only thing I ask of you, don't bring those reports to me. Okay. Awesome. Because I want to focus on the job that God has given me. That's right. You want to fight it, fight it on your own. It's okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As a good child, when somebody abuses your father, it's okay for, it's you, okay to for fight. you to fight. Yes. But I just don't want to be distracted. Mm -hmm. And I want you also to know one thing. I have made up my mind. I will not throw stones. Mm -hmm. Because I helped build that church for 30 years. Mm -hmm. I will not throw stones. Mm -hmm. This is the last time I'm going to talk about this. We are going to move on with God life. Bless you, Pastor. Is anybody hearing me? Mm. And I wanted to know mm. that my destiny, your destiny, mm. is not in anybody's hands. Amen. It's in the hand of God. Hallelujah. Woo! Well said. It's in the hand of God. It's in the hand of God. Well yeah. And the proposal was to merge all the churches in North America together. For them to drop their, their tax exempt numbers and we come under one tax identity. Many of us rejected the idea. And one of the reasons for the rejection of the idea is that if any church in Idaho or any part of America does something wrong and they want to sue them, they will sue everybody together. One of the other things that we said was that if you want to get a loan to do a building or anything, it has to be central. 